face. <laughs> That's why I don't do it. I just suck at creepers. Welcome to Gaming for Grandparents, the channel that tries to help grandparents stay mentally active. Alright, so today we are going to go out and kick some hind in. We are in survival mode today, and I enchanted my armor. And enchantments in Minecraft are upgrades of your tools and your armor. So we're talking about taking my armor from a Ford Pinto to a tank. When you click on any of your gear or tools, it will show you a list of all the enchantments you have. So protection will protect you. Thorns will actually hurt your enemy when they hit you. Respiration and aqua affinity help you breathe underwater. You can only put those on your helmet. Unbreaking helps with the durability of your armor. And mending will actually heal your armor once you're getting some experience. Feather falling on foods helps you not die from falling. And there are dozens of enchantment to choose from for each piece of armor as well as for your tools such as your hoe, your shovel, your axe, bow, and sword. To get these enchantments in creative mode takes 10 minutes. In survival mode it takes days to weeks. This is a grindstone. You use it to remove the enchantments when you make a mistake. Using enchantment bottles increases the levels of enchantment you can do. So you just throw them on the ground and see the 17, 18, 19 at the middle bottom. That's my experience. So that green number and those bars are my experience. Some of this lapis lazuli on this enchantment table with books. There we go. So now when I put the, the lapis in there, I can go with a power one, power one, power one, or smite. They're actually this much of my experience points. But because I'm not up to 30, most people don't even try and enchant until they get to 30. And I'm not to 30 experience yet. So it's the maximum I can do is 24. But that's the options I have. I would be creating these books and I'll go ahead and blow one of them so I can show you what that looks like. And then we would come here to the anvil to add the enchantment. And we'd put this enchanting book in there and this in there and then that would say, oh, okay, it's going to cost 36 so I don't have enough experience to do that. So I can't uh, enchant this bow, but I've already got enchantments on this bow. And the last thing I want is power one on that bow. Power five. But at any rate, so that's basically how enchantments work. So we're going to get out of here and we are going to go find a place where we can hunt some mobs. But that's basically what I look like with my gear on. And we're going to go a little bit further away from all the lights so that we will see more mobs spawning. <laughs> okay. And when you don't pay attention to where you're walking, you fall into a hole or a ravine and then you die. Lovely. Feather falling on my boots saved me. And you might want to be looking down when you're running in, in Minecraft. Whatever. Okay, well, it's time to dig out. There we go. And we already have a zombie showing up. So let me get my sword in my hands. Now you can use an axe or a sword. <laughs> What? You don't want any more of that? Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. 
You are aware you're getting hurt by hitting me, right? People. Alright. So those were all zombies that were attacking. Ah. Let's change to our... Oops. That's a skeleton I'm trying to shoot at. And took him out in one. Some more zombies. Zombies have like the best eyesight in the game. Yep, come on. See, I want them to hit me because I'm, I'm wearing thorns, so that's why I'm just standing there. <laughs> I think it's funny because they, they, they hit me and they hurt themselves. Oh, hi. You've got some gear on you, don't you? And right now I'm taking all the damage, ain't I? Oh, hi. Excuse me. Pardon me. You know what? I have punch back on my bow, dude. Yeah, bye. Yeah, I was down here earlier. And each one of these mobs drop different things, whether it's rotten flesh that the zombies drop, or um, arrows that the skeletons will drop. So. And when you're using the, the looting sword, you'll get even more. <laughs> I, just, I just smacked him with the bow. See ya, bye. You had no chance to. Let me go back. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what happens when you take on a... a a skeleton is um, fortunately I'm in pretty good shape but with my gear that I that I have so I'm just gonna go ahead and eat and eating those enchanted apples it not only repairs my health but at the top right corner you see that I have now uh, temporary hearts resistance fire resistance um, so I I'm even in better shape than I was um, but yeah, that's what happens, and the, the arrows do despawn, but I just thought that was funny. Oh, no, 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 And this is why I have punch back, because of that guy right there. Creepers. So I have knocked back and, and punch back. And that explosion was another creeper that I did not hear. But he just blew himself up and made that giant hole. Um, but yeah, that's why I have those on my... Um, yeah, on my bow is because I do not want to get close to them because they explode. And fortunately, even though we didn't hear or see the explosion, we definitely heard that explosion. So I got blindsided by a creeper. Yeah, now it's getting to be full dark. And we should see a creeper right there. That's the dude that I don't want near me at all. Oops. Oops. 
He moved. Got him. <laughs> yep. Alright. See ya. I need to get back into my F5 mode. No! See? That's what a creeper does. So now you know what a creeper does. And why we don't like creepers. <laughs> you hit my thing. Wait a minute, who is hitting me? I am getting hit by you. Okay. I'm getting hit by arrows here. Hold on a second. Whoops. This is a zombie villager, and I really should rescue him, but because you can actually save these guys, but I'm not going to. Bingo. Got that guy. Got him. Right in your face. There you go. Yeah, I just love to do the bow and arrow thing. Listen, dude. Okay. Every time you hit me... Oh, I've pissed off an instrument, have I? Have I? You're going to kill yourself. Okay. You're going to kill yourself, dude. Seriously, dude. Stop it. See? Told you. You kept hitting me and I have thorns on. Besides the fact I can just do this. I wish everything would quit attacking me out here. You know, you're just gonna die. It's a suicide mission, dudes. There. Now what's hitting me? Oh, yeah. Oops. As I try to hit you with the apple. Which often happens. That is a creeper, and I'm going to tag him from a distance. I am not even going to play with him. I'm not even going to play nice with him. I do not like the creepers. And that is another creeper. Thank you. See ya. But that's also why I have quick shot on my, or quick charge on my bow. Is because I want to be able to, uh, quickly recharge my bow and shoot at the full full uh, strength. Now it also helps that I have harming arrows and obviously as you guys know I've been in creative mode so it's very easy to get a lot of these things. Um, hello! Hi! 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 See ya! Bye! You guys didn't even take a heart from me. You suck! Now, spiders during the daytime are not dangerous. And I didn't bring any torches with me to light things up for you. But this is iron ore here, and that's coal. Those are things that you can mine, but of course I didn't bring that. Whoa, that scared me. Something just set me on fire. Hi. See you, bye. All right. <laughs> the, when the zombie came out into the sunset, he immediately, or the sunrise, or the sun, I should say, he immediately um, set on fire, and that's what caused me to be on fire. Oh, dang. There you go. Ha ha ha. Tagged you. And now you think you're not gonna get tagged again? Yeah, exactly. Exactly, dude. And I just heard a zombie, so hold on a second. Let me uh, switch to this view. So I can see what all is hitting me. 
Yeah. See you, bye. Ah, see you, zombies. Boom. Whoops. I really need to figure out how to get my game controller to work again. Because <laughs> it was not. Because this keyboard and mouse thing is not my game. And, and you can use the creeper to blow up these other enemies by just hanging out and letting the creeper hit them. But I'm about to get there. <laughs> I'm about to get knocked into a, a ravine, I thought. so. And yeah, and you can go down and collect all this dirt too. And anything else they drop. What do you want? Oh my goodness, this is the skeleton is riding this spider. That is just so funny to me, I'm sorry. Hold on a second, let me deal with Tweedledee and Tweedledum here. Thank you, Spider, for leading the, the uh, skeleton right up to me. I appreciate that. Get back up here on a hill so I can see where everything is at. See you, bye. That Enderman, he totally just zoinked away. Wow! So the party is over here. Boom! Took that guy out. Took that guy out. Boom! I just love to shoot him with the arrows. It's like my way of playing this game is just to stand back and just shoot them with the arrows and then go collect all the loot oh. <laughs> unless of course they jump right on you like that spider did and of course because my thorns armor he was just injuring himself but whatever See? <laughs> that's why I don't do it I just stuck at creepers they just blow up in my face all the time. Alrighty, alrighty, so you're best at me. Yeah. But if you stare these guys in the eyes, see they can't do anything. He cannot move to save his soul. So as long as I keep my hash mark in, in his eyes like that, he could do his thing. But the second I took it off, now he can transport, and he's hitting me, and he's getting hurt on my th on my thorns. So this is the difference between, yeah, he just killed himself on my thorns. But these right here are ender pearls, and you need these in order to go to the end portal, go through the end portal, because you need to change them into. Um, Ender eyes. Now I'm going to see if I can take out the creeper down there. Yeah, I know. I stared at you. And they only attack if you stare at them. Yeah. See you bye. Oh, who's hitting? Oh. See you bye. I'm getting a lot of those ender pearls. And if you throw an ender pearl, yeah, I stared at you, so now you're going to attack me. I know, I know. See you, bye. And that noise that they make, that is the Enderman's noise. It is a really freaky noise. Let's take out some more skeletons and get some more arrows before daytime. Boom. Make sure I don't fall into a hole. Yeah, see the skeletons are catching on fire. So they're going to die naturally. Oh, now they're getting into a, a, a battle. This is the other thing. They're so stupid that they shoot and kill themselves. Um, and they will, they will shoot and kill other mobs too. So it's kind of funny. Um, 
but I'm just gonna gra gather up all these arrows. And here we go again. When it swipes across the screen, that is actually the um, sweeping edge. <laughs> And there is our bird. There are our phantoms. There's four of them here. And they're going to keep attacking. And everything is probably going to attack me. But all of that was phantoms. So that's what I've been expecting to show up. It took... Oop. Hi. Excuse me. Excuse me. The phantoms will be back. And they'll continue to show up until I sleep. Like I said, the spiders are nice during the day. They won't attack you. But then... Oh, <laughs> you just shot the cow. See, I can shoot you without shooting a cow. You're a monster. Literally. You can have multiple different worlds in Minecraft. Each world is called a seed, and they are randomly generated. Then you can choose to play in that world creatively, survival mode, or be a spectator in that world. Survival peaceful, there's no hostile mobs, meaning there's no zombies, skeletons, etc. But you can still die in that world from fall damage or whatever. Easy mode means the hostile mobs don't hit as hard. Normal means they hit at the normal strength. And hardcore, they hit very hard and will take most of your hearts when they hit. In peaceful, easy, and normal, if you die, you can respawn and continue to play the game. In hardcore Minecraft, if you die, you can't respawn in that world and continue to play in survival mode on that world. Now I'm in, again, like I said, survival mode normal. Everything that's been attacking me could have killed me if it wasn't for the fact that my armor is netherite as well as it's enchanted. As you saw, there was a couple of times where the mobs got me down to only five parts left. If I was not wearing armor, I would have died. So what actually happens when you die in normal mode, easy mode, or um, peaceful mode? Well, I'm going to show you. Because I'm going to allow the mobs to kill me tonight. And um, then I'll show you the mad rush we have to do to go back and pick up all of our stuff. And what I mean by that is when you die in these other modes, your stuff falls to the ground. If you did not reset your spawn with a bed, you will go back to your original spawn when you first entered the game. If you do have a bed and you didn't break it, you will respawn back wherever that bed is at. In my case, I have a house with a bed in it, so that is where I will respawn. So when it gets closer to morning, I'm going to remove all my armor and let the mobs kill me so I can show you what I mean about respawning and then having to gather your stuff. I'm also not eating, so it'll be easier for the mobs to kill me and I won't defend myself. But I'm just waiting until it's closer to morning so I don't have to fight with all these mobs to get back and get to my stuff. I'm just showing grandparents what happens when 
you die in Minecraft. Now the moon is starting to go down um, in the west and the sun is starting to come up in the east. So it's getting to that point where I need to go ahead and take off all my armor or a bunch of my armor and just let whoever's going to come and find me get me and kill me. So zombies got me down to three hearts, two hearts, one heart, half heart, there I'm dead. So it says that I was slain by a zombie. And um, all I have to do is hit the respawn screen. And just like that, I'm back in my bedroom. Now I have to do the mad dash back out there to try and get all my stuff that is just scattered around on the ground where I die. The boxes at the bottom of the screen are the hot bars. And that is where you keep a lot of your immediate items. And you can see everything's empty. So when I go over all of this stuff, I will just start picking up all of this stuff. And uh, yeah, it will just be all my stuff that I have to pick back up. And now you see my hot bar is full again. And it's not in any order that I normally have it in. But I'm just going to grab all of this stuff and um, make sure that I get everything. And it, I think... In the course of going through here, I actually missed picking up my pants or somehow that zombie broke my pants. Which I find that hard to believe that a zombie broke my pants. But either way, I ended up not finding my pants. So I'm going to have to make new pants. But it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> In creative mode. But that was such a horrible death that I just did um, that I'm going to try to get myself killed again. And I didn't realize how hard it was going to be to get a good video of me dying in this crazy world. So of course I'm trying to die to an Enderman who's stuck. I have to literally go over and rescue him before he can kill me. But right now, he's mad and wants to kill me, but he's stuck. What's going on? But why can't you transform? Thank you. Thank you. And there you go. I was just killed by an android. So right here. <laughs> so I respawn and I respawn back in my bedroom. And now I can go out here. Run back out here. And we should see all of my stuff. And oh my god, I don't get hit by that. Damn it. And you just did some damage to my ground. Ugh. That is the headache with creepers. Now I've got to fix my patio. I should have been sprinting instead of walking. Okay, you win. I'm not going to look at you. But I do want to gather all my stuff. Okay. So I saved his life and then he turns around and, and uh, kills me, so... There, did I get everything? Alright. These creepers, I... So, by hitting the T and going into slash game mode space creative, I'm going back into creative mode so I can get the blocks to fix this area here. Because this is the damage that creepers do, and that's why you actually want to run by them and not walk by them. 
Um, but I'm still frustrated over the death that I just had to go through. So I'm actually going to do another death with an Enderman. But I'm going to fix my patio here and um, clean that mess up. So now I'm back outside at night around the house. I've fixed the um, patio and I'm looking for another Enderman to kill me, but I'm not finding any. I end up having to get spawn eggs for Endermen from creative mode and just spawn in Endermen so I could get a decent death. <laughs> For this video, I spend the entire night out here without having anybody attack me. Actually, I think the iron golems are killing everybody before they get a chance. But I'm just wandering around looking for things to kill me. Specifically, I wanted an enderman just because they're so dramatic about it. So I'm just wandering around in the dark with no armor looking for an enderman to kill me. So that I can get one more view of this crazy death. I end up having to give up because no Enderman showed up anywhere this night. And so I just went back into creative mode. Got some Enderman spawn eggs. And all you have to do is just throw them on the ground and you can make them. These are all the spawn eggs available. And they are in alphabetical order. So I go back into T, game mode, space, survival. And then pick one of these to stare at, so it'll kill me. The iron golem takes out one of the endermen, so now I have to find one, and there. Now I'm getting attacked, finally. And once I die, everything I owned or was on me just scatters to the wind, as you saw. And yep, I'm back in the bedroom when I hit the respawn button. As long as you're not playing on Hardcore World, you will always respawn to your bed. So my advice is to just play Minecraft your way. And don't let anybody bully you into playing it a different way. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, it is free to subscribe. You can also click on one of these cards here to watch another video. Thanks for watching. Gaming for Grandparents.